here when I asked them about how would they would come Ramadan. They all answered me the same thing, the same way. We will try to find the food day by day. It's, it's waking up trying to find anything to eat then, uh, uh, trying to afford this, eating it and then going to sleep. There is no food security for these people. And I was asking moms about uh, there is no vegetables, you can't uh, simply cook the same things as Ramadan, La, uh, Ramadan 2023 or last Ramadan. They all answered that we will try to make soap, like soap only, boil some water with some any flavor and put it to the children. They told me that uh, there, is, there will not be any support because as long as there is no diversity, there is no any light to wake up and to make any food. There is also canned food, so if they got anything to eat, then they will eat it. If they did not get anything to eat, then they will eat some canned food, beans, green beans, or anything. And by the way, there is no gas, there is no cook, there is no kitchen, so they are all cooking over fire. And this is another issue. So this is how people are, are, are copying to, to Ramadan uh, um, like this year. And another thing, very important thing for Gazans. Gazans and Palestinians and Muslims in general uh, go to mosques in Ramadan, yeah, especially in Ramadan, after the food, after breaking their fast. So now there is no uh, uh, mosques to go to Tarawih. There is no um, uh, time and uh, ability and most of, of course, to go to a takaf or to sleep in the mosque in the past, in the last 10 days of Ramadan. So nothing is normal. Nothing is normal. People are trying to do as much as they can only to survive. Like, how can they even fast and break their fast, uh, their fasting, eating anything while they are not having adequate food and vitamins and all the healthy food for months? Unfortunately, Ramadan, and we say in Arabic, Ramadan Kareem, Ramadan is generous. But this year, Ramadan is not even Ramadan. Not only is not generous, 